Welcome to OCN, your favorite 24-hour Christian television. And you are watching Beyond the Thorn. I want you to know that you are beyond pain, you are beyond sorrow, you are beyond depression, you are, you are beyond suicidal, you are beyond everything that the enemy is saying you are. You are beyond it in the name of Jesus. You are beyond poverty. You are beyond um, whatever the enemy is saying. Uh, marriage frustration, you are beyond it in the name of Jesus. I want you to believe the word of God that you are a champion. You are wonderfully made. The Lord said he fearfully and wonderfully created you. You are powerful. You are so powerful that when you start exercising your faith, Oh, my brother or my sister that is watching us right now. Oh, your faith will arise. You will tell that mouth to move and it's going to move. And I, I want you to know that we, I have a very special program for you tonight. And I want you to call your, your friends, your relatives, your sisters, your nieces, all your friends. Tell them that Beyond the Town is on. And I'm your host, Pastor Rose Nelson. Welcome to Beyond the Town. I have on the set with me my favorite sisters, Reverend Chinri was with me last two weeks, and uh, my, my sister, Minister um, Annie Karanja. Oh, we, are, we have a treat for you. We are here to encourage you. We are here to, to download you with the word of God. We are here to tell you that you are a champion. You, you, don't know, you don't have to listen to the lies that the enemy is telling you, that you are the tail. No, you are the head and not the tail. You are rising above only and not beneath in the name of Jesus. Before we begin the program, I want to read the scripture. Uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 18 to 20. It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has he had sent me to heal and to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set as to set at liberty them that are, bu are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And he closed the book and he gave it and he gave it again to the minister and he sat down and the eyes of them all that were in the synagogue were fastened on him and he began to say unto them this is the day this is this day is is this scripture fulfilled in your ears and and all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeds out of his mouth and they said is 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 it not this joseph's son and he said unto them hallelujah mm -hmm. hallelujah welcome to uh, beyond the thorn i'm so excited mm -hmm. to have you got you my sisters with me we are here to encourage the, the our viewers and you know when I, I i was asking the lord what scripture do you want me to and he took me to uh, look for 1822 the Lord, you know, the, from the beginning of this year, the Lord has been with us. He's been good to us. God has been good to you. If you haven't yet received your blessing, when you look back, and there's a song that count your blessings and name them one by one. And you will be surprised what the Lord has done. When you look back the whole of 365 days, God has been good to you. God has been, some of some people have died, they've gone to be with the Lord. Some people are still in the hospital one year. Some people can't breathe. They have mach, uh, machines in their noses. Mm -hmm. But you are pri privileged to be alive. Mm -hmm. I want you to shout hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Father, I thank you mm -hmm. for, for letting me. I know that we are going to see 2017. Mm -hmm. Oh, get up and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Father, I thank you. Mm -hmm. Father, I give you praise mm -hmm. that I'm still alive. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We are here to encourage our brothers and sisters in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I know that the Lord has a word for you, for all of them. Uh, uh, the Lord will use uh, Minister Annie, will use Reverend Chinry to speak a word into your life. You know, as you were praying, you said, Lord, uh, give us a word for, mm -hmm. for our viewers 
words tonight. Mm, and right. that was my prayer this Amen. afternoon. I said, Lord, give us a word mm. for our viewers tonight in the name of Jesus. Mm. Reverend Jimmy, I would like to say something, then we'll go to uh, Minister Annie. Hallelujah. You know, um, you were reading it, and then when you were speaking, and I, 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 I started counting my blessings yes. amazingly. Because you know what? It's easy for us to get carried away mm -hmm. and not count all the things that God has done. Yes. The things that we think are the simplest things are the ones mm. that even the most richest cannot even afford. That's right. And that is the breath of life. That's right. Mm. And the breath of life and the health that you have. Yes. We may fight for health care. Mm -hmm. We may want to get health care, Obamacare, <laughs> Medicare, yeah. Medi-Cal, whatever. 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 But the truth of <laughs> the matter is those things that you have, yes. even when you have the best of the best, Ooh. it does not save you when that death it comes. comes. Mm. Yes. But God keeps you alive because he has a plan for Amen. you. That's right. Yes. He has called you for one reason mm -hmm. or the other, mm -hmm. and he saves you for a purpose, for a time yes. where you will fulfill that destiny Amen. which has called you for. Yes. So we have to understand mm. that yes. it is good to be in a waiting. There's Ooh, nothing wrong hallelujah. to be in a waiting. I so for those waiting. of you that are waiting, <laughs> yes. it is not about the waiting. Yeah. It's about what you do while you're, you're waiting. waiting. Hallelujah. What do you do mm -hmm. while you are waiting? Amen. Are you thanking God? For his goodness, are you thanking him for his mercies? Are you beginning to appreciate him because of what he has done, mm -hmm. the things he has brought forth? Yes. The ones that are still, when you go to ATM, it tells you in process. Yes. Some processes mm -hmm. take a little while. Yes. And some comes right, right away. away. But you know that whenever, mm. it may tarry, but yes. it will definitely come, come to pass. Right. Amen. It may Amen. definitely come, it will definitely mm. come to pass. Hallelujah. His word will not fall to the ground without no. accomplishing that no. which has sent it forth. Hallelujah. Or whatever God promised you, mm -hmm. he will definitely fulfill. Yes. Mm. Yes. So understand mm -hmm. that whatever God has called you for, mm -hmm. those will come to pass, but you have to be pre prepared mm -hmm. You make yourself available. available, avail yourself, and let God use your ability mm. to do what he has called you to do. Amen. Mr. Amen. Annie. Amen, amen. <laughs> wow. Amen. It's amazing that we are now coming to the end of this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, 2016 is almost over, and it's always good to look back and say, what happened? Where did the year go? Mm -hmm. uh, this year has been a great year. I can say... I don't have everything I asked God for at the beginning of the year, yes. but as his reverend was saying, you hold on, you wait. Yes. And that's the word that God is saying, hold on. You may not have seen everything you've asked mm. God for, mm. but God is reminding me he, he's working on us. Yes. Because if you're praying for a house and a furniture, God is not going to give you furniture first without the house. Mm. So sometimes he's giving you the house so that when he brings the furniture, you have somewhere to put your stuff. Yes. That's right. And so... Maybe you may not understand because sometimes things, happen in, things have to happen in the spirit realm before they manifest in the physical. Yes. But what the Lord is saying today is, hold on. Mm -hmm. If you haven't gotten what you asked God for the beginning of the year, don't give up. Mm. Don't start complaining. Don't start giving up on God. Mm -hmm. But hold on because he's faithful. And whatever plans he has for you, he, he has good plans for you. That's what Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us. And we have to learn to trust God that he's able and that he's a faithful God. Amen. 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 You know, um, as we were reading uh, Luke 4, it, the Lord spoke some things. He said, he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Mm -hmm. So we are speaking a word to the poor, those who don't have it. You know, when they say poor, you can be poor in the spirit. You can be poor physically. Right. You can be poor mentally. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know? Yes. So when the Lord gives you that revelation, a poor, poor, you can have money, but you can be poor in the spirit. That's right. You can have money, but you are messed up in the head. Mm. You can have money, but you are emotionally broken. Mm. That's right. And you know, the word of God, he says to the poor, he has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Mm. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The broken hearted. He came so that he will encourage his word. Whoever is thinking about committing suicide, whoever is committing and depressed, you are putting the sheet over your head. We have been there, we have done that, but it never helped us. But you know, we heard the word of God and we said to ourselves from today, <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God says, The strength of the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's right. Now listen to what Jesus is saying and he said to preach a deliverance mm -hmm. to the captives mm. and he said and recovering of sight to the blind that means that uh, you can be uh, um, you, 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 are, you can be a, a captive in every area of your life that you don't even you can be in prison you can be walking but your spirit is in prison you are not experiencing anything good in your life mm -hmm. i love that I, 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 I will say something and then i'll pass it on he said live and he said blind to set at liberty them that are bruised mm -hmm. to preach the acceptable year of the lord Amen. 2017 is the acceptable year Amen. of the mm -hmm. lord and after he's finished saying he didn't say anything anymore because he had spoken about the human what we are uh, going through mm. he he just said this and the bible said he handed the, uh, the script to, to the minister he said he have spoken and that's it and those who have here here to hear let them hear yeah, that right. is why we have to have the the spirit that we have to ask the lord give me the revelation about your word mm. let me have the revelation about your word mm. because sometimes a lot of people are going to check they are reading the word of god but they don't understand the word of God because they haven't had the re revelation but as we join together in the name of Jesus we mm -hmm. pray in the name of Jesus that beginning of 2017 you have you you will have the revelation Amen. oh the revelation word of the word of God mm -hmm. and the word of God will jump on you yes. and you will see the full flesh of his word and you start using the word for you and your family your 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 husband your wife your children children and you tell them oh the children that the lord said he has given to me they are for signs and wonders yeah. and that's it amen. amen amen because the bible says that when the lord spoke he, he didn't say anything anymore i've spoken and that's it grab it and run with it mm. amen, amen. amen. Stand amen. what the lord say amen amen because <clears throat> jesus came and as he said that the spirit of the lord is upon me for mm -hmm. he's anointed me to preach the gospel yes. to the poor. Uh -huh. And as you're talking of poor, sometimes we, uh, we are so money-minded, mm -hmm. and that's what the culture mm -hmm. talks about money. Yes. It's about money, mm -hmm. it's about stuff. Mm -hmm. But even being deficient in knowledge, mm -hmm. and you know the Bible says my poor perish for lack of knowledge. knowledge. No, that's being poor. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> most of the times you realize that the area you are deficient in, in knowledge, that's your area of weakness. Yes. And that's why Jesus came mm -hmm. to open your eyes because he came to open the eyes yeah, of the blind <laughs> so to open oh, your eyes hallelujah. so you can see yes and you remember in the book of Genesis the story of Hagar mm -hmm. the, 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 the slave girl who had a child with Abraham the baby was Ishmael and the, the, when the, the, the lady was kicked out mm -hmm. she went to the desert and she was crying she's like she put the baby aside he was a, he was a big boy but mm -hmm. she put him aside because mm -hmm. she was crying and she's like I don't have any more water I don't have anything to feed feed my child but <clears throat> God told us, stop crying, open your eyes, see, there is the brook. Yes. The brook was there all the time. The time, but she was but blind. She was blind. <laughs> and so Amen. this is what, the God, it's not like you're blind, you're using, you know, mm -mm. You, you need people to lead no. you. But even being blind in the spirit, spirit. that, that oh, breakthrough that hallelujah. you need, it's right there. Yes. It's right under your nose. Amen. But we need that revelation knowledge. Mm -hmm. That revelation knowledge that comes through the spirit, that comes through having a relationship, yes. that comes through you spending time in the presence of the Lord, Amen. so that He can reveal those things to you, so that you can stop being poor, so that you can experience that which Jesus came to accomplish mm. for you. Because you see that scripture in Luke, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, is anointed me to preach the gospel, gospel to the poor. To the so poor. you who is poor, <laughs> I'm not talking about the homeless, mm. I'm not talking about the poor who have nothing. I'm talking about the poor in spirit, spirit the poor in knowledge. Oh, the deficient in whatever yes. you're deficient in yes. he sent me to heal the broken, broken hearted. hearted you're broken hearted maybe you don't have a job mm -hmm. maybe you know your life is messed up maybe you are hooked on drugs mm -hmm. you're addicted to something yeah. you're addicted to 
uh, there's a lot of addictions, not yes. just drugs. We were just talking when we were coming in. And yes. there's a lot of addiction. There's addiction to stuff. Mm -hmm. You just love your stuff so much yes. that you're addicted to them. That's right. But but they are breaking your heart because mm -hmm. you're not able to give your heart to yeah. God. You're just hooked up to forward. those things. Yes. And then to proclaim liberty to the captives. Mm. And that's also another form of captivity, yes. being captive. Yes. You're captive in your mind. You're captive by other mm -hmm. things. But the Lord desires to set us free. Yes. The Lord desires to us to live the abundant Amen. life. Amen. And we have to learn to wait on him yes. and to know that he's done it. Amen. And we just need to arise and, and be who he's called us Amen. to be. Yeah. Brother Jim, I want you to look at the camera and, and break some things of what, you know, the Lord was talking of deliverance, recovering, blindness, whatever, mm -hmm. what the Lord will lay on your heart. I want you to prophesy to somebody right now. You know, Amen. when you were reading the, mm -hmm. the Bible verse, what the Holy Spirit was telling me mm -hmm. was, that we are called to preach. Yes. Remember, each and every one of mm -hmm. us go through things in life. That's mm -hmm. right. And I always tell people that whatever you've been through turns around to be your ministry. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because Amen. through which you gain an experience, yes. a Ooh, knowledge lovely. of something mm -hmm. yes. that you overcame. Mm -hmm. And you know that most of the time, you know that nobody else brought you through it mm. but God. That's but right. God. So because of that, of that knowledge you have, it becomes a ministry that you go out mm -hmm. to speak to someone yes. else yes. who have no idea yes. whose mm. hope has been shattered yes. because of what they are going through, through. Who don't even, at that point, the one thing that always holds us captive is even those that know Christ, yes. even those that read the word, mm -hmm. when you're going through circumstance, mm -hmm. I give you an example. A woman that is pregnant, when they, they, you go to a Lamas class mm -hmm. and they tell you, this is how you breathe mm -hmm. when you are in labor. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when the labor comes, mm -hmm. you don't you remember forget. anything. No, you don't remember anything. <laughs> so when we are in trouble, <laughs> Hallelujah. when we are in trouble, yes. we don't remember no, we don't. anything. Mm -hmm. So what we do as Christians mm -hmm. is that I remind you mm -hmm. how to breathe yes. mm -hmm. because I've been through it. Through it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have the knowledge. Mm -hmm. This is what you're going to do at this point. That's right. In the book of God, this Bible has 8,000 promises. Mm -hmm. But how many times do you remember one oh of them my God. when you're going through Something. so much? Yes. Your back is against the wall. Mm -hmm. You're going through so much mm -hmm. that you're... you're you're in between, you know, the hard mm -hmm. rock and, you know, uh -huh. high places. Place. That's yes. Right. So now... When you are speaking, mm -hmm. you're speaking with confidence. Yes. You're speaking with assurance mm -hmm. to say, let me tell you, if I am standing here today, hey. I assure you mm -hmm. yes. that that God that you call upon, uh -huh. that I Amen. call upon, will Amen. not Amen. leave yeah. you, will not Glory forsake you, right. will not fail you, yes. but every man will fail will you. When all your relatives will abandon yes. you, he will hold you up. Hallelujah. That this situation is only but temporary. Mm. Mm. This temp this situation is, is not unto death. Mm. Uh -huh. You know, like when yes. Jesus said, <laughs> this situation is not unto death. Yes. Mm. yes. So you are not gonna die. No. One of one of the preachers, I can't remember who it was, it says, the devil cannot kill what God has anointed to no. live. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So God has anointed you to live. Amen. Amen. And what we are doing today is letting you understand yes. that. You are liberated. Yes. Your situation may blind you. Mm. That even when you are praying and the door is open in front of mm. you. Mm. And that, that is a door of good health. Yes. Mm. That is door of your employment mm. to go and step out boldly By in faith. faith. But you are sitting down, mm -hmm. pouting, yes. feeling bad because all the enemy is doing is giving you the wrong information. That's right. To tell you that there's no way you are not good enough, mm. you're not educated enough. Or maybe there's a situation in your marriage that is not working out and they're telling you, oh, your husband will not ever, ever look at you anymore because you are not pretty anymore. That's right. Because you have a blessing. One thing God's blessing don't do is bring a curse to you. Mm. God's blessing is all around blessing. Mm -hmm. Yes. That you have a child mm. should not be a reason why they think, oh, now I'm not pretty because I have a bless I have a child. Mm. That's your badge of honor. Yes. Mm. So for those of you that feel like, oh, he's not looking at me because I look any different. Mm -hmm. None of that. 
That is the devil's lies. Mm. I want to assure you that you will be a voice to speak unto someone Amen. else. Amen. Amen. There is hope. Yes. There is liberty. Yes. There is deliverance. Yes. That whatever that is Hallelujah. going on in your life in is name not unto Jesus. death. It's only been temporary. Mm -hmm. But while you are going on to it, when the devil knock you down, mm. remember you are on your knees. Mm. Yes. He hits you and you, you fall on the ground. Mm -hmm. You are on up. a praying position. Mm -hmm. You have to still pray unto God and say, Lord, I give myself and this situation Amen. unto you. Mm -hmm. you. I don't give it to any other mm. man. I give it to you. Amen. I, if I am to handle it by myself, I will make a total Ooh. mess. Mm. That's when you tell God, Take the wheel. Yes. yes. Take over. Yes. That's when you say, God, take, take over. Yes. If you have not told God to take My over God. in your life, Urabashi. this is the time, Urabashi. this is the moment, Urabashi. this is the Urabashi. hour, this is the yes. moment for you to say, Lord, I surrender right all. Ooh. I give it all to you mm. that you will take over, right. that you will take me to my destination. destination. I can't do it by myself. I've tried to do it by myself, but all I do is make a mess. Amen. But again, you have to know that, you know, the, the, the people of Egypt, when they were coming out of uh, Israelites, when they're coming out of Egypt, mm -hmm. he said, uh, Moses told them, be silent. You have to wait too. Amen. So telling you to wait when you know your enemy is hard. Mm. But you have to trust God. He wants you to trust God. Mm -hmm. Because the enemy that you see this today, <laughs> this minute, this hour, Ooh. You're not going to see it anymore. Amen. And one thing you don't want to do is lament. That's mm -hmm. right. Don't speak anyhow. Mm -hmm. Don't condemn your God because yes. he has not done this, he has not mm -hmm. done that. It's not time for you to lament about what God has not done. Yes. It's not about time for you to compare your life with somebody else's sitting next to mm. you because their life is different. Huh. You don't want God to give you somebody else's prescription. That's right. Doctors don't give people other people's description, mm -hmm. a prescription. That's right. Your sickness is different mm -hmm. yes. from that person's mm -hmm. sickness. Mm -hmm. Glory. So your response Hallelujah. to the medication is different. Yes. That's right. Yes. So sometimes My the God. angels are already been dispatched Amen. for your sake. The name but of they Jesus. have demons that they have Lord to fight Rababa up to get to you. Roboko so while they're on their way to fight those enemies yes. to get to you it takes time mm -hmm. but you have to sit still <laughs> you have to listen to god yes you have to believe god you have to trust them mm -hmm. that he has conquered the enemy amen spiritually for you amen. but physically your manifestation is gonna come amen. and that will be the one yes the one testimony Amen. that will wow everybody. That's Amen. right. That Amen. will even wow you. Yes. That's right. Because Job, despite all that Job mm -hmm. went through, mm -hmm. he lost it all. Oh. He lost it all. Mm -hmm. He even have a wife that even told him, why don't you curse your mm -hmm. God? And Do you think that Job wouldn't sit there and go, why is she the one left? <laughs> she should have been gone so I can go through this all that's by myself. Right, that's right. <laughs> but the one person who will who will speak to you and encourage you yeah. will be the one too to tell you, no, man, uh -uh. let this thing go. That's right. Let it go. Uh -huh. It's not gonna happen. Yes. I don't know if you're going through it. I don't know if you experienced it. Right. But remember that you have to stay put. Yes. You have to keep trusting yes. God. You have to keep holding on to him Amen. and not let nothing, no voice of the enemy or, right. or spectators or anybody mm -hmm. around you mm -hmm. confuse you. you because when Job stayed and mm -hmm. waited upon the Lord, Lord, he was healed all around healing. Amen. Oh. That same person who told him to curse his God, God. Gave birth to 10 more, more children. children. <laughs> Amen. I always say that God is a practical joke. That's right. And he just wanted to shut her up. I <laughs> bet you she probably must have hit her monocross at right. that time. Ooh. But still she gave birth Amen. to 10 more children, children. And God doubled their blessing because of Job. Job. That's right. He Let's did not cost scripture. God. Mm. Let's read the Habakkuk. You were talking about mm. Habakkuk. I, and it says, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2, it says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain mm. upon tablets, and he may run, that he may run, mm. that readeth it, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, mm -hmm. but the end it shall speak, 
and not mm. lie. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't it tarry. Mm. Wait Just for it. Come. Don't mm. it tarry. Wait for, wait for it. it. Like you are saying, wait for it. Whatever the promises of God, whatever prof a prophecy you have received in 2016, it is still there. Wait Amen. for it. Amen. Amen. Wait for it. Amen. Whatever the, the Lord has promised you, wait for it. It's for an appointed time. That's right. Although it is a, a, oh, it, when? When will I give birth to this destiny? Mm. When will I give birth to this business? When will I give birth to this uh, ministry? Wait for it. It's coming. Mm. When will my husband come? When I've waited, I had my, 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 my uh, uh, one of my, my, my daughter said, oh, Auntie Rose, I've waited too long. It's too long. It's too I said, wait for it. Mm -hmm. Wait for it. It's coming. I've waited too long for my wife. Wait for it. I've waited too long for this baby. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. I've waited too long for this ministry. Amen. Wait for it. Amen. I've made a, I waited too long for this money. Wait for it. Amen. It's coming. It's for an appointed time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be Amen. to your holy Amen. name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, one, one thing people don't understand is when you don't wait on God, hmm. that's when you go My and God. grab what does not belong oh. to you. Mm. A duplicate. The fake one. <laughs> the not fake even a duplicate. One. <laughs> fake. There's a fake one. Mm -hmm. You take what does not belong, belong to, you to you and you wonder why yes. it doesn't that's fit. Right. Yeah, fake. that's right. Mm, mm, mm. When it doesn't fit, there's no way you try to make it work that it would work. Yes. And then you turn around and want to blame God, God. Mm. for your own mistake. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's you, why you I put said, on the wrong shoe. Yes. That's why I said. And it's tight on you. Let him take <laughs> the wheel. Let <laughs> him take the wheel. Oh, Let hallelujah. Let him lead the way. Mm. Let him be the my one God, my to God. give you what he has planned yes. for you. Oh, hallelujah. Because God's plan, mm. he said, it's not. Not if it's not for evil, Ooh. but to give you an expected end. That's right. That expected end is something Beautiful. that will give you peace. Amen. Something that will give you joy. You will always smile. Yes. If you're waiting for your husband and you marry your own husband, <laughs> that is a man that you sit and you know what actual love yeah. feels like. That's, That's right. right. It don't really matter. Okay. Even when you're old and wrinkled, mm. he will still yep. say you are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> And the Amen. love will remain as though you are still in your honeymoon. Amen. But then when you go and grab somebody's, even while you are at the altar, you know you've made the greatest That's mistake. Right you will know that. Yes. You will know that some people still stand there and go, yeah. I will write it out because it's going to change. <laughs> That's right. No, it will Woo. not change. It will not change. It, it will not it's change. Daniel, what is the Lord saying? <laughs> Amen. The Lord is saying, hold on. Amen. Hold on. That's the word. Mm. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. He's the rock of your salvation. Yes. And if, if you know that he's the rock of your salvation, if you think of a rock, I'm not talking of a stone or a pebble or something mm -hmm. like that, but I, I don't know whether you've been to like Colorado or to places with big rocks, mm -hmm. like or, or some place with the, the boulders, the big rocks. Yes. That's who our God is, a rock. Mm. And a rock is used Lean for many things. It. It's a fortress. Ooh. Hallelujah. It's a hiding place. Yes. Rock, water, mm -hmm. you know, it's a place you can find, find shade. Mm. And also like under the sea, yes. uh, in the ocean, that's where they throw the, their anchors. Mm -hmm. It's an anchor point. Mm. So you have to hold on to the rock of your salvation. Yes. Yes. And David knew very well. Mm -hmm. He talks about the rock of my salvation. Amen. In Psalm 61, he talks about that, hear my cry, O Lord. Attend unto my, my, mm -hmm. my cry. I cry unto you. Yes. And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that, that is, is higher, higher than, I. than I. The rock that is higher than I mm. is your Lord Jesus Jehovah Christ. God. So you, you are feeling overwhelmed by things. Mm. You are like, oh, this year, this is what's supposed to be my year. Yes. This is the year I was supposed to have my house. In, this is the year I was supposed <laughs> to be married. This is the year I was supposed to have a job. Yes. This is the year I was supposed to get my healing. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yes. Hold on to the rock of your salvation. Hallelujah. Don't let your heart be discouraged. Mm, yeah, but no. the Lord is saying, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. Tie knots. Mm. I remember 20 years ago, uh, there's a lady who used to encourage us and he's like, mm -hmm. you need to tie knots on running waters. Wow. How do you tie a knot on running waters? waters? Or tie knots on a cobweb. Mm -hmm. You know, if you tie, touch a cobweb, it just... It's right. gone. But it's like you're tying knots over something that you can't even... It's faith. 
Mm -hmm. You know, you are hey. tying knots on yes. running water. Yes. You are tying knots on a cobweb. But mm -hmm. you have to tie that knot. Mm -hmm. Keep tying that knot and Amen. hold on. Hold on tight. My that God. house is coming. Amen. That job is coming. Amen. Your husband that is coming. <laughs> <laughs> or, or your wife that is that coming. That people hear that. <laughs> or your wife is coming. I want to you encourage know? you. Yeah. That yes, job. Yes, he's coming. That job, that money. <laughs> yes. Whatever, that healing. Mm. And God wants to heal somebody today. I feel an anointing for healing. Amen. God Amen. wants to heal somebody. Amen. That healing, that whatever has been troubling Jesus. your body, receive healing right now in the receive name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Just reach out by faith. Amen. Receive your that healing. Sickness, that disease. Mm. Come Amen. on, let's, yeah. let's speak Amen. on. We speak Amen. to that You're disease. healed. By his stripes, we you're healed. Be healed in Whether the name of Jesus. Whether it's cancer, every yes. disease must bow to the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Therefore, by his stripes, you are healed. Yeah, whatever. Amen. Whether it's stroke, yes. blood pressure, yes. diabetes, yes. cancer, yes. mental yes. illness, any form of ailment, psychological issues. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing. Oh, we cover you with the blood of Jesus. For he was striped, he shed his blood for you. Therefore, hallelujah. just receive your healing right now. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Name of hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We'll be right Jesus. back. Hallelujah. Amen. My God, I give you praise. My God.
Oh, we were talking about healing. We were talking about deliverance. The, and we were talking about Luke chapter 4, 18 through 22. The Lord said, the spirit of God is upon me. And he has given me the power and the authority to preach the gospel, to set the captive free, mm. to set the poor free, mm. to set, oh, those who are nobodies. The Lord is about to surprise somebody. Mm. In 2017, your surprise is coming. Mm. God will elevate you. Amen. You will, you, it, will be, it, it will be so much with so much speed. There will be an acceleration in Amen. your life. Amen. In Amen. the name of the Jesus, name of Jesus. Amen. there shall be an elevation. Your friends, your relatives will look at you and say, how can this be? Oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Like they ask Jesus, is this really Joseph's son? Mm -hmm. Oh, glory be to God. Sometimes when the Lord does his, his things and he overdo his stuff and he, 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 he makes you like a public show and, 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 and um, plays his, um, he puts his honor on you and his glory on you. People ask, is this Dankeado's daughter? Mm -hmm. That's my dad's name. <laughs> yes, it is. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was once, I was once a nobody. Oh my God, I've been there, I've done that, but God is good. Amen. I never thought and never in my life that I would ever preach the gospel mm -hmm. because I'm a preacher's daughter. But let me tell you something. God will, uh, will, will pick you up and clean you up and then glorify his name Amen. in your life. Amen. And that is where you start uh, being uh, showing, uh, um, um, you show compassion to people. You don't put people down because you know where you've been. Yes. You know what you've done. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I was telling a friend of mine yesterday that, oh, hallelujah. Look at, look at us now. Mm. Look at us now. What God has done in our lives. Mm. You know, somebody, oh, I haven't done this. I haven't slept with a man. Uh, when I was growing up, I, I was so holy thou art. No, you are not. No, you are not. You, you've been there, but God cleaned you up. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And then when they hear your testimony, mm. they will say, ah, I want to be like her. Yes. Oh, if the Lord has done it for Pastor yes. Rose, yes. I know he can do it for yes. me. That's if right. God yes. delivered it, her from anger, mm. I know she can do it Amen. for me. Amen. If, if he, he delivered her oh, from, from envy, I know she can, God can do it for me. Mm. If she delivered when she was bad, when she was late, Hallelujah, we've slept with men, but hallelujah, Amen. God cleaned us up Amen. and gave us a husband. Hallelujah. Right. Right. So God can do it for you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be expecting your breakthrough. Yes. Be expecting your breakthrough. Don't let nobody take you to your past. The <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. The past is gone. Amen. 2016 Amen. will end uh, tomorrow. Amen. Oh, get up in the morning, 1st January, and put on your lipstick, yes. put on your best clothes, and say, ah, God has <coughs> made me a new person. Amen. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's something Ooh, that glory. the Lord was telling me when she was speaking. Amen. Tell my people they're beyond their thorn. Yes. Mm. I don't know what your thorn is. Yes. Hallelujah. Whatever that is eating your flesh, mm -hmm. whatever that is causing you to bleed out. Yes. And you don't know if you're mm -hmm. going to get help. Yes. If there's even any first aid for you, mm. that you are not sure. He said, you are beyond your thorn. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know oh, that, I, that, I, that am I am God. God. <laughs> and the God that we have is a God Ooh, that is glory, able. Hallelujah. That in mm, any storm mm, that mm. you find yourself, he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, abundantly. above all oh, we may ask mm, or hallelujah. think. Amen. So you, you Jesus. know. Thank that you, it don't matter what my the God. situation my is, God. Mm. because of your God, yes. who is able. able. I may not be able, yes. but he is able. Yes. Right. One thing I can only assure you is, I have been through my trials. Mm. I, have no, I know I have gone through that walk of imperfection. Yes. Mm. But like she said, 
Look at us today. Yes. Mm. Look at me today. Yes. I'm a testimony. Yes. In one way mm. or the other, mm. you will be a testimony. Amen. Yes. That's why I said earlier, I said, your miracle will be that which will wow okay. many. Even My yourself. God. Like Amen. he says in Luke, he says, is this Joseph's son? <laughs> son. People will try to downgrade it because mm. they didn't think that you are fit yes. for what you got. Mm. But what you got is what God gives. He mm. does not look at anybody. He doesn't go by your background. Yeah, right. He doesn't go by your education. Yes. He doesn't go by whoever that gave birth to you or what area you grew up in. Mm. Know that there's some people from Gator that are now living in Beverly Hills ha, ha, and all the ha, places. Ha, and Bel Air. Ha, and my they never God. had anybody Woo, glory. That ever walk them there. Never had any relative mm -mm. in those areas, in Look those neighborhoods. Yes. But it's only our unlimited God that will do it. That's he right. said you are beyond your thorn. Amen. If you're looking for employment, Mm. and you've been searching you have all the qualifications but man is telling you that you're not qualified mm. let me tell you when it is that time that dry bone will rise again Amen. and I'll tell you one thing again it's not only gonna rise it's gonna grow flesh mm. and it's gonna grow muscles mm. that means that you're gonna get the cream of the cream <laughs> So Hallelujah. you know My God. that only God could yes. have done it. Amen. Nobody else. You are beyond whatever the situation yes. is. Whatever Glory. the enemy is throwing Thank at you. Jesus. Be still and know Glory. that he Glory. is God. And he will remain God today. Amen. He will remain God tomorrow. Amen. He will remain God forever. Amen. He said you're going to walk into 2017 mm. in boldness. Yes. Glory. Amen. So that Hallelujah. means you're walking in in strength. You're yes. walking in in power. Right. God. You are bold because Amen. God have assured yes. you a greater blessing for Hallelujah. 2017. Amen. All I have to do is reach out and grab it. Amen. We've been talking about faith. Mm. So what we are doing is preaching to you that Man. you will preach to Hallelujah. others. That's right. When that breakthrough comes mm -hmm. forth, you're mm. going to be able to preach to others Amen. to say, hey, Hallelujah. God has anointed me. me. The anointing he's giving you is making that things that seem impossible before Amen. man possible for That's you. Right. Yes. So that when you go out there, you can speak. Yes. You're speaking out of knowledge and experience. Yes. What you've been through, through. that all of that time that you thought it would never happen <laughs> it eventually Amen. happened that is the grace of God that is his anointing that has given you the knowledge to speak to other yes. people to yes. let them know it is well Amen. it is well with their soul right. it is well with their Hallelujah. spirit yes. because you overcame yes. what yes. we are doing today is Hallelujah. to open your spiritual eye Glory. open your spiritual yes, eye so Lord. that you will see yes. what Jesus the Lord is name. doing for you Amen. if My he God. has allowed you to still My stay Lord. alive Lord. through this Lord. very Lord. moment Lord. And this Lord. time, Lord. know that you are not done. Jesus. It is not over yet. Yes. You are about to do something. Hallelujah. Something greater than yourself. Amen. Greater than your environment that you found yourself. So I am prophesying to you, whoever you are right now, that you have lost every hope. You are beyond your time. You are beyond every trial. Thank you, You are beyond every tribulation. Just be still amen. and know that he is He's God. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how dead the situation mm. is. Mm. Thank you, There's Jesus. a story in the book of Kings about a man who was dead and they were going to bury him. Mm. And uh, they were raided and so they threw the body aside mm. and the body fell into the bones of Elisha. Prophet Elisha. Mm. Yes. And that man was resurrected. Amen. How dead can you be mm. if you're being buried? <laughs> <laughs> Another story in the New Testament about uh, uh, Peter. Peter, in the book, we read Luke chapter 4, and this is in Luke chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Jesus was just about starting his ministry and was preaching. And he went to the lake. Mm -hmm. He found two boats. And he got on the boat. One of the boats was Simon Peter's mm. boat. Jesus is going to step into your boat. Amen. And he's going to change your life. Amen. Jesus is going to show up in your situation. Amen. And your life will never be the same Amen. again. Be still yes. and know that he's God. He's, he's stepping up in your situation Amen. right now. Hallelujah. And when he shows up at the battlefront, the, the battle Jesus. is over. In so you don't Jesus. have to be troubled mm. anymore. Hallelujah. Do not let your heart be troubled. Mm. But trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Weeping may endure for the yes. night. Yes. But joy comes with the morning. Hallelujah. May 2017 be your morning. Amen. 
Yes. It may be very dark right Amen. now, but the light of God is going to shine Amen. on you. And may the light of God shine on you. Amen. May God show up in your situation. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ step up in your Amen. boat. Amen. That Hallelujah. boat of employment. Yes. Yes. That Yeah, Peter had labored oh, by anything. They had yeah. not caught much sheep. Yes. But, I mean, ma much fish. Mm. But God told them to launch into Thank the deep. Yes. Jesus. When Jesus is stepping in your boat, yes. that employment. Amen. Maybe you have gone to place and they've turned you down. Mm. You're going to go back and they'll hire no you. More. Yes, yeah. The doctors may have given you a bad report, but that report is going to change. No Whatever more. you are trusting in God mm. for, that debt you are trusting God to get you out of, he's going to get you out Amen. of debt. Whatever situation you are trusting him to get you out of, he will get you Amen. out. Because he's Amen. showing up and yes. in your Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Please Amen. know it. Amen. I just want to say one thing, mm -hmm. and the Lord is just saying in my spirit, you cast your net, mm. I don't care if it's a lake, because it's not only in the ocean that you catch your fish. Mm. When God down. wants to bless you, he can bless you in any ground. Mm. The Lord is telling you <laughs> to prepare the soil. Amen. Get your soil ready. Hallelujah. So how you get your soil ready mm -hmm. is all being um, activating your faith. Get your soil ready. Mm -hmm. Know that this is the time, this is the moment. You can no longer fish in an unprofitable waters. Mm -hmm. God is going to send you where you will cast your Amen. net Amen. and get what you need. Mm -hmm. yes. You're going to get that peace and the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to get that husband. You're going to get that Amen. child that you, have, you need. Whatever it is, know it. You will no longer fish in an unprofitable water. Amen. Amen. The hour is now. It is now time for you to step in. Yes. 2017. You have this moment between now and tomorrow to get your soil ready. My God. Get your ground ready. Yes. Get your resume My put God together God. if you haven't yeah. done that. If you're Jesus. seeking for a child, know that, hey, honey, honey, honey. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, yes. just know. Get the, round, get the ground ready. Amen. Get the Amen. ground prepared. Amen. Because the Lord is about to bless you and bless you abundantly. Amen. And you have to have the strength. To carry what God is going to give you because yes. he's going to give you in, in the way that you, you have to have enough strength Amen. to carry it. Yes. And I'm not talking about physical strength. I'm talking about spiritual strength yes. to spiritual carry strength. what God is giving. Mm. Because sometimes God gives us blessings and we turn around and say, oh, it's a curse. Because now I can't even go to the store now without people saying anything to me. I need my private time. Mm. Be careful what you're praying for mm -hmm. because God is going to approve it. He's yes. in the business of approving yes. uh, requests. Amen. So right. whatever you are praying for today, we are believing with you. We are joining faith with you. Amen. You know. And join in corporate anointing and faith that yes. God will make it possible. Hmm. God will deliver it at your doorstep. doorstep. This is a, a month that children believe so much in Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. For those that trust in the Lord, you should know that your God is your Santa. He's, a, he's going hey, around hey. this month. Hallelujah. That's his birthday. Yes. This, That's right. this month we're celebrating his birthday. birthday. He has a lot of gift for you. Amen. But you have to be good. And you being good <laughs> is being prayerful. Yes. You have to pray, stay prayed up. Amen. You have to, you have to um, also be able to activate your faith and stay strong in your faith. Amen. Knowing that God will not disappoint you when everybody else disappoints Amen. you. Amen. Hallelujah. I need to take um, a minute and minister and I'll take it. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So we've said much. But if the ball is on your court, mm. it's up to you to trust God. He's going around with gifts, mm. as, as Reverend has said. But it's up to you to just reach out. Being good, I like that. You have to be <laughs> good. And being good is not like being holier than thou or whatever, but being good <laughs> is just being in the presence of God, mm. seeking his face. That's right. He says, seek me and you'll find me. Yes. So whatever you're finding, seek. And also the Lord is saying, we need to have a heart of expectation. Oh my God. Let's have an expectant heart. Mm. As you pray, don't just pray for the sake of it or just don't do whatever you do Amen. for the sake of it. But let's have a heart of expectation. Right. Wait on God. Because if your mouth is hungry, if you open up your mouth, like, like the birds do, the little birds, uh, when the mother is coming, they open their mouth and he, the, the, bird, the mother bird puts the food in, in their mouth. And that's what God is doing right now. He's going around. 
He's going around because we know that the eyes of the Lord go around mm. the whole earth looking for someone whose heart is right so that he can strengthen such mm. a man. So know that God is going around. The angels are going around with blessings. Are you expecting? Mm. Is your mouth open? Mm. Keep your mouth open. Mm. Keep your heart open. Mm. And when your heart is open and your mouth is open, God will satisfy you with good things. Amen. 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 You know, the Bible says that the kingdom of God suffered violence. Mm. Only the violent yes, take it by force. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to be violent with your faith. Mm. You have to be aggressive Crazy. with your faith. <laughs> You have to be angry with the devil mm -hmm. and rise Man. up and say, devil, yes. you can't that touch me that. no more. Yes. You can't touch my marriage. Yes. You can't touch my finances. Right. You can't touch my children. Mm -hmm. You can't touch my job no more. Mm -hmm. You can't yes. touch my academics no more. Mm -hmm. You can't touch whatever the Lord has said about me. You can't touch it no more. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. And you have to say, I decree and I declare Amen. that I'm the head and not, not the, the tail. tail. Mm -hmm. I will rise above only and not be mm -hmm. yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. And the Bible says, oh, he's fearfully and wonderfully mm -hmm. created yes, you. Yes. You are a champion. Mm -hmm. Not until you know that, the devil will steal from you. Mm -hmm. The Bible says knowledge is power. That's Without right. knowledge, you are nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, search the Bible yes. and go into the Bible. Go deep with the Bible mm -hmm. in 2017 That's and right. tell yourself, no more. This nonsense must stop. Yeah. In my family, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. my family, Finances That's in right. every area yes. of my life, then the nonsense of the devil has to stop yes. in, Jesus in the name, name of Jesus. Oh, I am wonderful and wonderfully and, and powerfully created by my maker. Mm -hmm. He said, You are the head and not the tail. You have to know that. You have to know and know and know all oh, deep inside of you with every breath in your spirit, with every breath in your nerve, with every blood in your being, and say, Ah, I'm serving and living. God, amen. what the Lord has said about you is yea and amen. That's right. In the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. In the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Reverend uh, Chinri, I want you to pray. We have about two minutes. Okay. Pray and then Annie will take us up. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brethren, I want you to know that this is time for Ooh, you to Rabbi go Shana. into your war room. Yes. Ooh, your Rabbi war room Shana. to seek the face of God. Rabbi the war room to Rabbi decree Shana. and declare the war room to cancel everything that the enemy has put over you. The war room to reclaim all that the enemy has stolen from your life. At this moment, I am praying in the yes, name of Jesus, name of whatever Jesus. the situation is mm. right now, yes. that the Lord will begin to turn it around. Yes. We are in this war room. Oh, we may be in a studio, but no, this is a war room. This is a house of yes. God. Hallelujah. We are praying yes. and decreeing yes. and declaring yes. that you are beyond your thoughts. That's right. That whatever Jesus. the situation yes. is, that the Lord oh, has conquered it. That the Lord has availed oh, over us. And made you to recover, yes. make you to recover all that the locust and canker worm yes. has eaten over the years. The name of this Jesus. is your time yes. of compensation. Oh, 2017 yes. is your compensation hallelujah. period and season. Thank and you, you shall receive from the Lord, yes. which will bless and yes. gladden your the heart. Name of and will bless your home and hallelujah. bless your marriage. Amen. I break off every shackle. I break Jesus. off every yes. Yes. I break the off Jesus. everything that you have received. I take you away from the he said, Be still and know that I am God. He is that rock which is higher than you. He will keep you, He will hide you, He will protect you. Lord, may you protect your people and make your word to manifest. That this 2017, yes. we will have testimonies. Yes. You will write the oh, show and hallelujah. say, this is what the Lord has yes. done for me. You will have a testimony. Hallelujah. You will celebrate with Lord others. And you will be a voice that will speak Jesus. what God has done. To many others who are going through hey, stuff. Jesus. In the name of the Jesus. Name of Lord, Jesus. we give you praise. Yes. Amen. 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 With the blood Amen. of, blood of yes. Jesus. We declare that 2017 is the year of the Lord's favor. Mm. It's the year of the Lord's favor. May the Lord bless you and have a happy new Amen. year. Amen. Follow us on Facebook at Beyond the Thorn. Amen. And write to OCN. And also write to us at Beyond the Thorn. Amen. We wish you a happy new year. Amen. Happy 2017. Yes. It's the year of your breakthrough. Amen. It's the year of the Lord's favor. Yes. So go forth in boldness yes. and grab hold of what the Lord has Amen. done, for, has gotten hold for Hallelujah. you. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank Amen. you for watching Beyond the Door. We'll see you next week. Amen. Amen. <laughs>